Welcome everyone to another episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week. This week we're going to concentrate on Superstar era Barbies and we're going to look at some of the variations from some of the famous dolls of that era. And when I say variations in this case I mean Caucasian, African American, and at times Hispanic. So I have several examples I want to talk about so let's get started. First of all, one of my favorite dolls ever uh, from this era and time period is Magic Curl Barbie and here she is. Now I'm mostly going to focus on dolls in the box this week although I do have this doll out of the box uh, just not handy. So you're probably familiar with what she looks like but and, and everything you could do with her hair uh, which just I thought was so unusual and different and that's one of the reasons I really like this. Now the African American version is just as beautiful um, and box is a little dented up but um, not too bad and she as you can see on the back one thing I found interesting was the hair is quite a bit smaller and that I thought was kinda interesting at least in the picture I mean uh, on the front they show some of the things that you can do and here's oops, let's get this to where you can see it better do one at a time So that's the Magic Curl Barbie and the African American version. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't a Hispanic version of this, to my knowledge. Uh, if there had been, I'm sure I would have gotten it at some point. And so that's that one. And we're going to move on to Crystal Barbie, another famous doll from that time. And as you can see, some of the plastic is, is uh, faded or, or discolored. And so it kind of makes the doll look that way as well, but she's really not. Um, and the back is, of course, some lovely pictures with her and Crystal Ken. There usually was at this time a matching Ken doll on most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. And then the African-American version, which is a very pretty doll. And I just recently got her on an eBay auction, so I'm glad to finally have her. I mean, at the time, had I been able to afford them both, believe me, I would have gotten them. But this is the African-American version, and here is the Caucasian. So you can see the two different dolls. Um, so they really were pretty true to the same look of the doll. Uh, another one that I have that I want to show you is Twirly Curls. And Twirly Curls is... Um, one that did come in three variations including Hispanic and I'm not I mean I'm not sure how they picked which one came in which versions because there were some dolls like Angel Face for instance only came in the white version or the Caucasian no African American no Hispanic whereas this one came in three so I don't quite know how that worked if anybody does I'd be curious to know I really would um, so here you have the regular so-called regular version a plain. Uh, this doll I've had quite a long time. I believe I got this when I worked at Sears in that time frame, sometime during that time. And then here is one that I got, I believe, last year in an auction. This is Hispanic Twirly Curls. Usually this is better in the day with all this glare, but it's not helping today. Um, so there's a good view of her and of course they have a Hispanic little girl and I've showed this doll before but I want to show it in the context with these others uh, so there's that and that girl could use a few twirly curls and then I do have the African American <laughs> African American version which I have taken out of the box because I wanted her out of the box um, I guess she didn't have a necklace I always thought these should have a necklace I thought they should all have a necklace that had a neckline like that especially. But she's got beautiful hair. Um, it's still in a braid in the back. This doll's never been played with of course and she's just been displayed and she's just a doll. I mean <laughs> literally. <laughs> but um, I really like this face mold. Uh, that's a really nice one that they used a lot as you've seen during this time period. Okay, let's see here. What's next? Um, let's look at the Day to Night dolls. Now, Day to Night, there is a Hispanic version. I don't have that, unfortunately. 
but I do have the other two, which of course this is the um, white or Caucasian, whichever you prefer. And here's her her um, daytime look and the nighttime look. I I thought this was so neat. You just take the jacket off, take the scarf off, and put it around her neck if you want, or in her hair, and flip around the skirt, which was ingenious. I mean, they don't make stuff like this these days. In this, I mean, it's just not the same. So um, anyway, this is a really cool doll. Another one of my favorites, day to night, and that's the Caucasian version. And here is the African American version. Um, and you know, at this point, they were just calling her Barbie, not you know anybody else, Christy or anybody. Uh, she's got the same basic pictures. So you can see the two together, and um, on the back, I think I do have this uh, this Ken too. Didn't bring him over since I'm focusing on Barbie today, but uh, this is the the one for the African American couple. Very pretty face, a lot of makeup for the '80s, and like the hat and the the little briefcase, and she's got that little purse you see here so um, very cool doll I like it now we're moving on to pink and pretty pink and pretty is from 1981 a beautiful doll this is the african-american version that I re recently got because I'm trying to fill in a, a few missing ones that I have uh, from the african-american side of things and she's got a little weird bump here in her cellophane but other than that she's in perfect condition it looks like to me and the box is pretty good too yeah, this is one of those great 80s dolls where you could just do many many things with the outfit and they did call her Christy instead of just Barbie at that time so this was a little further back than the last one and then um, I don't have that one as far as the the Caucasian one in the box so we'll just not show it but that's the african-american version and then for peaches and cream here's the african-american version of that or back then I think they just called it the black version so uh, either one but uh, this is her and when they did the repro doll of this I kinda wish they would have done the the black one as well but um, you know, another one where you could do lots of things with the outfit and with the um, stole. There she is with, uh, looks like the same day to night can here because there wasn't a peaches and cream can. That would have sounded kind of funny maybe. I don't know, peaches and cream can. Could have been interesting. They did crystal can and they did uh, dream glow but they did not do peaches and cream can so I wonder what that would have looked like I think somebody should do that okay here is the african-american version of jewel secrets Barbie now this is all the way to 1986 so a few years down the road beautiful picture on the outside by the way that somebody drew and the doll is um, the one thing about this doll that I never have liked regardless of which version it is is this dress that doesn't have an opening at the bottom for her legs or for feet to show through I, I think that's kind of bizarre but it's because it's supposed to be a little purse you know for the, the little young lady who is using it or playing with it um, so anyway that's why uh, she came with another outfit that you see in here in the box right over here and it's also pictured here. And this one. So that's the African American version. And for her, I do have handy the. Oh, she's dusty. I gotta dust this. <laughs> this one is the Caucasian version of the same doll. And here's that big poofy skirt I was talking about that. Oops, see it comes off and then there's there's her other outfit underneath which needs to be adjusted so she's not sticking out in places she shouldn't be sticking out oh her rubber band is falling off as I speak this 
red rubber band here. So this has been on for quite a few years. It's now falling apart. So we'll just leave it. But um, she is a pretty doll. Very nice and uh, lots of nice hair that could be things could be done to. And um, taking out more pieces of the rubber band here. She's got this purse. Let me show you this. So, you know, I mean, I don't know. The little girl really wanted to use this. I guess he or she, he or she could if it was a boy. Um, but probably more for the girls uh, since more girls played with them. Anyway, that's that one. And then I want to show you another recent acquisition that I got. Um, this is California Dream, uh, not Midge, I'm sorry, Teresa. There is a Midge, I believe, but not this one. I uh, don't have Midge. There's also a can and a black um, Barbie, and I don't have those, but eventually might get them. So here is the California Dream Teresa. I saw her online for a pretty reasonable price, and I thought, oh, I'd like to have her. She's a pretty doll. And I kind of love that 80s hair she's got on her head. Uh, this is from late 80s, 87, and things were still pretty big, though, in the hair department. The outfit is very polka dot, as you see. And she went with this group here. Yeah, so here's the midge. I have one of these that's loose in the other room that isn't in her outfit, but I don't have one in the box is what I meant. So I do have, however, the... California Dream Barbie from this set and she's original I've had her for a long long time and she's in here she is here in her original outfit um, so you know these polka dots were definitely part of the theme of these particular dolls hair smells pretty good still and um, she's got a kind of interesting hairdo if you, especially if you look at it on the side there so this is California Dream Barbie and California Dream Midge. And one of these days, I do hope to at least get this one so that I can have all the four girls. And then maybe I'll get the can. I saw him on sale recently for 99 cents on an auction, but of course that was just the starting bid and he went uh, higher than that. So in the meantime, I hope you have enjoyed seeing some of the variations of some of our famous superstar Barbies from the 80s. And I will talk to you next time.